Hello, confirmation students. I hope you're doing well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you, if not before, on the 27th, where we're going to have our meal and talk about our confirmation lessons. But today we're going to talk about uh, the petition of the Lord's Prayer that says, uh, Give us today our daily bread. So we said at the end of last week's video that uh, the first few petitions uh, are about what God is up to in general in the world. Uh, his name being made holy, his kingdom coming into the world, his will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, this uh, narrows to be something very personal that we're saying in the Lord's Prayer. Give us today our daily bread. First, let's read uh, what Luther has to say about it, and then we'll reflect on it a little bit. Give us today our daily bread. What is this? In fact, God gives daily bread without our prayer. And that's very true, isn't it? We don't always remember to pray for the things we need, but God gives us uh, those things anyway. Uh, God gives daily bread without our prayer even to all evil people. But we ask in this prayer that God cause us to recognize what our daily bread is and to receive it with thanksgiving. What then does daily bread mean? Everything included in the necessities and nourishment for our bodies, such as food, drink, clothing, shoes, house, farm, fields, livestock, money, property, an upright spouse, upright children, upright members of the household, upright and faithful rulers, good government, good weather, peace, health, decency, honor, good friends, faithful neighbors, and the like. So uh, you can see that list is a bit dated. We may not all have uh, livestock and farms, but we all have things that we need, necessities for our, our not only our just survival, but for having a good life, having a peaceful life, having a life of enough. And so when we pray for daily bread, it's not just... Uh, for bread, we're asking, you know, and recognizing that God is the source of all the blessings in our lives, which that's really the important part of it. Because like Luther says, you know, most often we, we get blessed with what we need, even when we don't ask. Um, but to pray this prayer in church, to pray it on our own, in our personal devotion, reminds us where all the good things in our life come from. And, you know, that's part of why we worship, part of why we come to church is uh, in recognition that God gives us all the good things in our lives and we, we owe uh, him thanks and we owe him worship and devotion uh, because he blesses us so much. Um, so that petition of the Lord's Prayer reminds us of those things. So as a homework assignment for this uh, week, I want you to take a few notes about things you're thankful for uh, that maybe you forget to give thanks to God for. What are you thankful for in your life that makes your life better, uh, that makes your life um you know, happy, joyful, and all that good stuff. And uh, take a note of those things and remember to give God thanks uh, for those good things in your life. Thanks for listening, uh, confirmation students, and we'll see you very, very soon.